You are now listening to Hong Kong 2, the only podcast sanctioned by People's Republic of China, featuring Chris Lynch and Benjamin Taylor. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Episode 24 of HK2 Podcast. Are we really restarting the episode? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, so this is we're shot number two here. Chris didn't like the first intro. I didn't like the first intro, but <laughs> what was it? Just too. Yeah, I know. I got probably you. too many like weird words to put in the beginning. They'll like shout up in us. It's a little. Mu- yeah, it was a little much. Yeah. Talk about your new haircut. I got a new haircut. It's um, so Chris looks less like a girl and more like a boy now. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, it I is sh- very sharp. I look good? It makes you look a lot younger, yes. That's good. It was getting too long. Yeah, I know. I need to get a... I was asking my girl, what what if I got cornrows? But, like, my hairline... That My hairline is receding, right? So the only way I could do it is if I got them on the sides and the back. You get fake ones. On top? I think you can twist in fake ones, yeah. Really? I don't think Something so. Something like that. Like it's it's like a black hairstyle thing. I think well, you can get it like twisted in. I don't know. Do you think if I went to a really good barber they could fix my hairline? They could do um scalp pigmentation. But, like, like a, at like the a Puerto shop? Rican like a Puerto Rican guy. Uh not the the barber probably knows a guy. You know what I'm saying? Would I would I have to go into a lab or could I just like chill in the barber chair and just get my hairline fixed? I think it's essentially a tattoo on your head. Oh, that's stupid. No, and you would look insane. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. You look that's insane. what Fousey Tube did. Yes. Fousey Tube got uh, a hairline tattoo. Yep. The only issue is it still shines in the light. Yeah, and um I think it suits him though. Yeah. Because he's like Palestinian and like he's like uh some of the he's got that Arabic look and kind of like it kind of works. That's my opinion. The equivalent I think it works. for me would be like if I instead of like getting dots like like I buzz my head, I would like just draw in. You would just get a head tat. Yeah, I would get it. Yeah, that'd be cool. Pirate skull. I should do so like the most douchebag head tat ever and do like Adam crown of. Touch- crown of- Adam touching David, crown of thorns. Oh, wait, no, wait. What's that? Uh, what's that p- post? Or it's not a post. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where, where God is touching Adam or whatever, or they're God touching Adam. They're handing off an apple or something. <laughs> That'd be funny if instead of a painting, it was on a poster. It was a poster, <laughs> like before a painting. Like, yeah. Paint, yeah. Like in the future, people don't know what paintings are, so they call them posters. <laughs> yeah. That poster by fucking Da Vinci was crazy. What if, what if Leonardo Da Vinci did like car ra- or like like wrapped cars? <laughs> he'd probably be tight at it. He'd he probably, probably, he'd probably be, be good at it. What if the Pope came and he's like, "I need a new wrap for my stick. <laughs> for my uh, for my stick." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick. Yeah, he, I'm sure he would have. You ever you ever have rabbit meat? No, no, never. It's been a while. I think I had it once. The reason I bring that up because we're talking about. Da Vinci, and mm-hmm. it, it reminded me of Italy, and the part of Italy that my mom's side is from is uh, apparently known for their rabbit meat. Oh, wow, really? Broku City, here we go. That's cool. Yeah, well, I know rabbit stew was popular amongst, um, I, w- I was going to say something mean, but I'm going <laughs> to. Men? Uh, no, men? I was going to say peasants. Oh, peasants. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. I don't, I know. don't know. I've never had if it. If my ancestors were peasants, I mean, I'm sure all of our ancestors were peasants no, at one point. No, I'm, no, you re- come from I'm kings? related to Julius Caesar. Julius probably. Caesar? But actually, I don't think I don't think I am. You ever hear people, when they correct you on like the pronunciation of like somebody's name historically? Actually, back then, it would, probably would have been pronounced Kaisar. Yeah, no, but... Uh, or something like that. That sounds like a really annoying thing to have to deal with. Or like Pocahontas. Like, actually, it was pronounced... I don't know what the... F- what the fuck did- So Pocahontas was with Lewis and Clark, but what did she do exactly? That was a Disney movie. Who, oh, I'm, thinking, was all- I'm thinking of Sacagawea. Yeah. Yeah. It was actually Sacagawea. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. That's what the kids didn't... That's that would piss me off. I would just be like, dude... Come on, like, buddy. Dude. I'd be like, can you just please leave me That's alone? an English teacher probably saying That's that. fucking annoying. Did your English teacher get, uh, get pregnant during uh, high school? Yeah, I had an English. Yeah, she got pregnant because she started fucking the PE coach. Every 
en- female English teacher in high school or, or middle school got pregnant during mm-hmm. our lot. Oh, yeah. Mine, yeah. Mine did, too. I Mine had, had a miscarriage, though. Oh, really? Sorry, sorry about that. Damn, that's fucked that's up. Too, uh, shouts out to the fallen. So the, the baby bo- didn't like the books that she was reading. No, apparently the, not. The baby was like, no, I can't be born into this world. Yeah, she was... Re- yeah, they're right. That's uh, fucked up. Yeah, but anyway, no, anyways. I had a teacher who shouts lost out. a kid, too. Yeah. Yes. Shouts out. Shouts out shouts to all the teachers. Th- shouts out to his family. <laughs> <laughs> this one goes out... To the English teacher's family. To the English teacher's family. And uh, we just need to do better. We need to end racism and miscarriages. So shouts out to his family. So shouts out to his family. <laughs> yeah. If you guys know... <laughs> that edit is good. That edit is good. <laughs> yeah, that That's awesome. the best one. You, if you guys know what we're talking about, you know what we're talking about. But yeah. Shout David out. Get, David Guetta. George Floyd. Shouts out. R.I.P. Yeah. R.I.P. This one's for you, buddy. Um... So, if I if I could be, if I could be David Guetta for that ten second period, that would be awesome. But I would have shouted something else. Yeah, you would have been like, I would have been like, hey, <laughs> yeah, you didn't play an Outcast remix. You would have been like, hey, yeah, uh, remix. Or, um, so what were we dropping tonight on the food radar? Shit, man. Should we, dude? They're probably the pissed. Who? Oh, the these viewers. Guys? When we keep talking about food, I mean. Maybe they're not. We'll talk about you just broke your seven day fast, so I think that I broke this fast. I kind of fucked up. Why I didn't that? fuck up. Well, I I I think I ate solid food too quickly. I did the full seven day fast. Yeah, one hundred and sixty eight hours, however many twenty four times seven. Mm-hmm. Did the full fast, just water and some magnesium and other shit. Went good. Mm-hmm. Lost fifteen pounds, but. When I got off of it, I was super eager to eat avocados yeah. and some eggs, mm-hmm. and I did, and it just fucked my stomach up. Like, I, I just, like, my stomach hurt because I was, like, it was the first time I was, like, digesting food in seven days, and yeah. I probably should have started with non-solid foods. Why don't you tell everybody here about the uh, little ass escapade <laughs> that you went on with Schultz? Oh, yeah, I got a... I got a, a, cl- uh, a colonoscopy. I got, no, I got a colonic, uh, colonic hydrotherapy. mm we clean your colon out with old water. Man. It was great. It was an old man. It was who good. Did it? No, no, you do it yourself. It was self service. Oh, was just what? A, you just, it's just a, you stick a, a tooth. Yes, you stick a device a hose inside what? of your ass. Yes, and it squirts water in How there. How deep into your ass do you have to put the hose? Like an inch. Dude, fuck. Maybe, maybe an inch and a half. So that's kind of gay. Um, It's so, medical. So that's a little gay. It's just medical. And it you, flushed out my. I love. I'd love to see you do it and see how much shit you have in your colon. Bro. I'm fucking it's probably good. black. <laughs> it's not black. It's probably bro. like a whole chicken nugget. Not. <laughs> You're so retarded. No, this shit, dude. You, I eat. I mean, this might not apply to everyone, but I fasted for seven days. Yeah. No food, and there was there's still <laughs> stuff in your colon. Holy fucking shit! So, well, um, first of all, I think if I go back you. to that place, I'm running the risk of using the same fucking tube that you did. I think it. I think you you have a 50, 50, 50 uh, chance uh, using the same tube. I'm not they doing clean that. They They probably replace the the tube or whatever. It's like a hookah. They have like a little tip on it. You know why they have the, the dude the plastic tip that they change out? It's like Fuck that. that shit. What? So I can yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, now nah, I'm good on that. You know what I did the other day? I have it. I brought a new uh, ear irrigation system. Okay. You ever use one of those. So you're putting fucking water in a different hole. What's the difference? It's my ear though. It's not my ass. The ass is gay. The ear is medical. Whatever. My, You should have seen the shit that came out of my ear. Mm. Bro, black globs of earwax. So, do you have ear problems? I have, I have earwax, a lot of it. Mm. Shit, I have some. I recently uh, cleared out my nose. Well, it just started to become clear again. Because mm-hmm. sometimes one nostril will be just, like, stuffed up. It'll- That'd be cool if, like, when you got up to heaven, God, like, looks at you and he just, like, clears out all of the gunk in your body. Probably. And, he, like, he would do something like that. He's like, look at look at how much shit was in your body. And it's just, like, a huge amount of, like, black and But shit. I feel like once you go to heaven, you you leave your body and you're, you're just... Just you're, a soul? You're just a, a, a... Yeah. Yeah, true. What would your soul look like? Yours I would, would like to think if we're all just in white robes with what, per- perfect we, skin. We just look generic? Like a movie, yeah. Everybody looks the same. Everybody's wearing a right white robe. Maybe I could have some drip. 
You would you would would do you think that you would be able to get like Balenci's? No. No, because Balenci did bad things. Yeah. yeah. I think um Nike's. I'd wear sandals. The fucking rainbow sandals, mm. the ones that Sam wears. Mm-hmm. I he let me have a pair or two. Yeah. Those are fire. What Those sandals are I fire. I would wear Dickies. If Dickies God permitted. Are, yeah. Well, what's the weather? What's the I don't temp- know what the, what's the dress code? What's the temperature? Probably just all white togas. You think well, you think it's like a perfect like it's six, pro- 68 like cool, degrees, 72 degrees. Yeah, he keeps it like he keeps it he doesn't allow it to get too cold but also Is there a beach? Uh there can be probably. I like to think that we all live in a neighborhood together. Okay. <laughs> white picket fences. Mm. And like grass and just clouds on either side. Maybe like when you walk, more of the map spawns in. So yeah, like, like a from game. a distance, it's just Is it all procedural. White. Yeah, it's like a procedurally generated like thing. Yeah, that'd be cool. Mm, that would be nice. And you get to live in a little nice house with the, your girlfriend forever. And do you live forever? Yeah, you live do you forever. Get sick of it? You never age. No, nah, because it's always. It's the vibe is so awesome there that you can spend. There's no there. vibe kills. Yeah, the vibe literally never dies. So you just the like, vibe never dies. It's like a party that never ends. And then there's the 4chan cafe. And then there's the 4chan cafe. <laughs> and they're like, they're like, Anon, would you like some more Zog Chow <laughs> with your goy slop and a side of <laughs> sauce? And I'd be oh like, yes, God. my lady. <laughs> Shot to cut out that word. Tip my hat to you, my lady. <clears throat> and um, yeah, 4chan cafe. What's your idea of hell? 4chan cafe. <laughs> the 4chan cafe. Uh, my idea of hell. Do you think it's hot? Do you think you should burn forever? I don't know. Um, probably. It's probably bad. I imagine like they imagine hell is like you're in a box that's too big. It's like it's like too small for you to stand up. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. You know what I mean? And so you're just like for for eternity, you're just like in this really uncomfortable position, and your back is always hurting. And you're like, fuck, I wish I could sit, but you can't. Maybe the box gets progressively smaller, like an inch every year. Yeah, it's like it's just torture. And it crushes you to death. Some people bit. say t- hell is here. We, we are in hell? That lit earthly life is hell, and then you go to, and then when you die, you go to heaven. But this is... This is hell? This is the, this is the realm of physical desire and pain yes. and loss. That is true. But there's also so much joy mm-hmm. in life and laughter yes. that I don't believe in that. Um, How could we be in hell when I just laughed theory. hysterically two seconds ago? You made me laugh. <coughs> and on the car ride home, we were laughing. I know. We were laughing really hard in the car ride home. I wish we could have said what we said in the car here. That would have been funny. Yeah. But have you seen, speaking of hell, have you seen the demon face? Defense thing. Oh, that reminds me. We should go. We should talk about those topics. Yeah, that's what I was. That's so the was, demon face. Yeah, I remember this. This is the we demon face. We didn't talk with that about Greg, did we? I don't no, think so. we developed these topics after, after the Greg that, podcast. Yeah. What did you, What do you make of that whole thing? The demon face. So what is it? It's, it was a person that has a disease where he's everybody looks like a demon. Well, the thing is, is they. It, it was. It's like apparently they're classifying people that see people with this demon face as mentally ill. So if you see somebody with a demon face, you have a mental illness yeah. that causes you to see something that isn't there, I guess, or some shit. Even though they're probably just demons, I don't know. It could just be bullshit, the the demon face. Thing. I saw it on I saw it on Twitter. Yeah, the only I thing too. I saw was the graphic. Yes, that's what I saw. And that as well. graphic looks retarded. The graphic looks. Well, that graphic looks like a fifth grader <laughs> Photoshop Photoshop <laughs> class. Make a demon. <laughs> And they just li- liquefy the face and they're like, oh. and uh, so I thought it was retarded. I think it's actually it's probably just like fake bullshit that sounds made. It's yeah. like ARG fake bullshit retarded. It's pretty funny though. It is funny. I mean, what would you do if you saw someone? Though? If I saw that shit, I'd fucking freak. <laughs> but then nobody would believe me. Also, people would be like, "You're retarded," or they would just put me in a fucking fucking a retard home. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> bro. Um, well, what would you do if it, if it appeared in front of you right now and it started hissing at you? Uh, <laughs> I'd be like, "How'd you get in my house?" <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> you always put scenarios where it's like, "What if he was right there right now?" 
What if I he had know. a Big Mac, though, and he was hissing and holding it away from you? I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> and he's like this? Yeah. Come and get like it. Holding it just out of arm's reach. Like, 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 like a bully? <laughs> I will. I don't. I, I wouldn't want. I don't even want a Big Mac right now. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Huh? Here we go. Here we go. Um, what's it like to survive a bridge collapse? Mm. Ben wrote that one down. That one's which that is one. kind of twisted. That one's a little twisted. Jesus, Ben. The Baltimore Baltimore Bridge. Baltimore that, Bridge. That, that that's gonna did. be old news by the time this comes out. Yeah, but. Let's say hypothetically. It's still news. Do, 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 do. You're driving along the bridge. You just got off work. You got Wendy's in the passenger seat. You got when you got Wendy's and it took too long and then the bridge collapsed. And you're you- fucking mowing down on a Davis double and then suddenly the bridge starts to <laughs> <laughs> First of all, Dave's double while driving is pretty ballsy. It is pretty ballsy. That's pretty ballsy. Andy That's guys. like trying to eat a Whopper while driving, <laughs> yeah. and you're like this. But you had a long day at work, and you you always get a Dave's double on the day on these days mm-hmm. after work. So you're driving, and then you and then so, you die, and then you look over the bridge, and you see you see a ship's lights turn off, and the last thing you see are a bunch of Indians going like. Whoo! Yeah, 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 I think they're Indonesian. Really? Actually, they might be. I, I don't think know. they were Indians. They're Asian, in some form, Southern Asian. I but yes, the, go I heard on. The captains were white men, which sounds like misinformation bullshit. Well, who, to me. who knows? Well, th- whoever was on the in the boat, they fucked up. They misfired. They were not standing on business. That they day. were not. They were not standing <laughs> on business. They were standing on bridgeness. <laughs> bridgeness. <laughs> Um, but okay, so anyways, you're falling. The bridge starts to collapse. You're falling down. You still have your Dave's double in your hand do because you're you're clutching on it to do with your life. But, but you're falling. Everything goes into slow motion. Now <laughs> you have an option. Okay, you can start to roll down the window. So when you fall and your in your you know electrical system fails, you can still get out. Or you can take two more bites. <laughs> Survival rate is 5%. Enjoy the s- burger while you can or try to live. Try to live. What would you do? I would just I would eat the burger. Eat the burger, bro. bro. You're not surviving that, man. I would, I would be in slow motion eating it. I would just I would try to fit the whole thing into my mouth before yeah, I hit shove it in there. I would be I would be underwater like just, <laughs> just, just <laughs> trying to eat it. Yeah, the, the 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 car is up to here with water and you're still trying to exactly, eat it. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Damn! Shouts out to uh, or condolences to the people, <laughs> to the people who died. Shouts out to your family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like get another, uh, one of I'll take her too. Try the try getting the uh, the blue one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Every time I say R A P, now I just say shouts out to their family because <laughs> of fucking Dave. Oh, thanks. This is the sugar free one. It's probably oh, is good. it? Yeah, it's pro- probably good for me. Uh, well, does it still have alcohol? If it's in sugar, it? yeah, yeah. If it's, sh- if it's sugar free, it's good for me. That's fucked up, though, bro. If I was on a bridge and I saw a bunch of Indians like full steam ahead, like brows furrowed, pointing at the brows bridge supports, furrowed, and they're like, sowing <laughs> seeds of distrust. <laughs> yeah, sowing seeds of distrust. <laughs> ben has been using the phrase sowing seeds of distrust like it's like he, he just discovered it no i fucking have not i used it for like one week and now i'm done brows furrowed well that's what funny uh, I, i've been running the funny the one of my favorite bits that i've been running is um whenever i'm like he's been walking bits he hasn't been running them i've been walking bits yes but i i like the bit when you drink and then you start you start the um like the long monologue about how good it feels when the alcohol grips your bones. Whoa! Have you have you heard that? No, is that like an alcoholic's mantra? Yeah, it's like an alcoholic's mantra that you can do around strangers to to just fucking out. scare them away. Yeah, the alcohol Jesus grips Christ. my bones, and as I feel my blood turn slowly more viscousy. Ugh. <laughs> I don't think alcohol turns your blood. I think it thins your blood, doesn't it? Does it not? I don't know. Who Probably. Don't, I don't know. That is such a... Retarded Yeah, thing it's romanticizing, like, uh, the, yeah. the feeling of alcohol. You I mean, you can do it with anything. As the McDonald's hits my yeah, stomach. Yeah, as the Big Mac sauce touches my, <laughs> my, touches my tongue. I, I, taste, I taste the mayonnaise. I taste the ketchup. I taste the, un, I taste the rehydrated onions. I taste the American processed American cheese. 
I taste the seasoning on the burgers, the <laughs> soft buns, the middle yeah. bun, which is supports both. Or like starting the, your car. Yeah. As I sit in my leather seats, I sit in my I leather feel seats, my, my Jetta, and I turn. Yeah, hey, yeah. And the and I, I turn put them. the key fob into the ignition, and I'm amazed at how far we've come yeah. <laughs> technologically. I turn on Matt and Shane's secret <laughs> podcast. In my car, there's a Bluetooth device, and the yeah, I mean, it's like it's great. You can do it. Putting I on like a, that. Putting on a hat. I need to get more poetic. As I grip this bill of this hat, I feel the soft fabric. I mean, it's some bullshit, but it is retarded. That's for sure. As I wear this hat, man, I wish I had fucking long hair. You do. Well, not like that. I wish I had like. Can you imagine if I had like anime hair? What if I had like. Like perfect, like, Goku? like anime protagonist hair, and it was like, I like didn't have any receding hairlines, and I like had hair down to here, and like you wouldn't be my, Ben. It covered my eyes like that, and it, I had to go like that. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be you. You're you because of my hair, of everything. I see. You get hit with a god hammer, apparently. Well, according, to Greg. according to Greg. According to Greg. <laughs> There's some other topics that we have written down. That was pretty much it. There's one more. Oh, there is. Is it even funny? Oh, it was about Diddy. Release uh, a Diddy shirt. I think Diddy is done. I think that whole thing is pretty played out. Yeah. You think I, we you think we hit the shirt before he dies? Yeah, definitely. Don't think Diddy's dead. Well, As, do you think he will die? Do you think he'll get Epstein? Yeah, if, he, if they apprehend him, yes. Well, the thing is, Epstein had more motion in terms of, like, Political figures, yeah, but and like deep, the, deep, deep state he stuff. He was doing and, the same shit though. Did he was like, but did he's more like celebrity style stuff. Like, like Epstein had like, like, like British, like what, monarchy ties. What's your favorite? Like, what's your favorite PizzaGate moment? My favorite PizzaGate moment. Mine is when they when they um the Clinton emails, the Clinton emails. I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't look into that that much. I. I. I just think no. I'm not. It doesn't have to be like a serious thing. But have you ever seen like the shit of like uh, Tom Hanks wearing an ankle monitor? No. Oh really? Or no. like Ellen DeGeneres wearing a uh, like like being on house arrest and shit. Like the no. the, the theories. That's my favorite. No. I mean, I see the occasional thing when like celebrities go like this, yeah. and they, they do other stuff, and they're you know they do go like this. <laughs> but that's just innocent. Yeah. <laughs> they don't mean anything. Yeah. I don't know. Would you ever do that with your eye? Would you ever put like a like a triangle over your eye? The eye of Providence? To like po yeah, the eye of Providence to like pose for a picture? No. What if the photographer was like, okay, Chris, let's get one with you doing a triangle over your eye? What would you say? Yeah. Those ducks? If that's your neighbor, that would be fucked up. I think there's ducks outside. Sorry about that. Must be a duck, right? Yeah, it's a or like a weird goose or something. Yeah, we're hearing um some weird geese outside. Well, Anyways, <coughs> uh, no. I, well, I what do you think do the most haunted place in the world is? Most haunted place in the world. You ever seen the uh, Gate to Hell in uh, Turkmenistan? No. What's it's a, a it's like a, in Turkmenistan in, some, in like the desert or some barren wasteland. There's a fucking a giant hole in the ground that f burns forever. Fire. Whoa! You never heard of that? No. Yeah, I think it's the it's called the Gate to Hell, and it's in Turkmenistan. If I'm it's, not mistaken, it's a big hole that burns forever. It's a big crater in the ground that's like there's some sort of uh, natural gas that's like always like pouring out of it that causes it to be like. Uh, on fire in, in perpetuity. Wow. I don't know if that's haunted. It's just kind of creepy. Uh, Isn't that crazy? That looks like a gate to hell, all right. And people go there and visit it. That's fucked up. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah, gate I don't to like hell. that. Um, I wouldn't go there. No. I wonder but, if there's a, there should, we should find the gate to heaven. Is there a gate to right heaven? It's right here. Be, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in this living room. It's right here. Um, what, yeah. if, what if, um, what, what if, okay, now get this, right? Well, no, I'm actually not going to espouse that theory because it's so retarded. Okay. We can just, uh, let's talk about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. What do you think about dinosaurs? Do you think that you could befriend one? 
if you were shot with a time ray and you were transported back to prehistoric times. Time ray. I'm more interested in the time ray. I'm more interested in the fact that you made a time machine to a gun. Yeah, well, at this point in my science career, I'd already, I'd long since developed the time machine. <clears throat> now I have it packaged into a, a single shot revolver. Oh, the time revolver. With a pearl handled grip, yes. Nickel plated. Nickel plated. And um, uh, I shoot you with it. I send you back to prehistoric times. Um, befriend a dinosaur? Maybe a, a mini one. The like ones how, that aren't trying to. Uh, I mean, a, a like T Rex would fucking. Would, would fuck um, you up. I'm, I'm, like a, I'm like food or an what ant. What if a T Rex. But what if you were like the dinosaur whisperer and a T Rex came up to you and just like sniffed you and like let you pet it? And it knew that you were the one. Sounds like a movie. <laughs> would you still do it? Would I still... Uh, if, if I was guaranteed not to die, I'll be the dinosaur whisperer you for Ben's fantasy world. You don't, you don't know that you're not guaranteed to die. But the, the No. <laughs> so. That's how I feel about dudes who fucking go and like are like... Friends with gorillas and like ba bears that are like fucking flirting with would death. Would you run away or would you just like stand there and shake your pants? I'd probably run away. I mean, I don't know. How, then, I would just find. But then you've alerted it. And now it's I'll go under a rock or something. He probably doesn't. He has bigger fish to fry. He's gonna go fucking eat a pterodactyl. <laughs> Dinosaurs are retarded to topic. <laughs> Dinosaurs are super retarded. Dinosaurs are like for kids. <laughs> for real. If you're in a dinosaur, if you're like an archaeologist and you're like thinking about dinosaur bones, you're, you're pretty much, you might as well play Animal Crossing and collect fossils on that game. I know, dude. Dinosaurs suck. What do you think about women in science? Dino, it's scary. Sorry. Bro. That's a that's a kind of a bad topic, but but we can touch on it. I mean, I, I'll touch all over it. What's like the best job for a woman in science? Like lipstick science, um, lipstick manufacturing, <laughs> um, food. Yeah, food science. Food science. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think. Um, well, they call it women in STEM. Oh yeah, STEM is. Uh, it's an. It's a a. Uh, I, re I only know what STEM is from the South Park STEM episode. STEM is a fucking... Uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. Yeah. and What do they call it? An anagram? Fuck. Uh, I'm they cut call that it an, a fucking... Yeah, I think it's What's called... It, an, I, it's slipping It's me. an anagram. No, it's not. Oh, Anag it's not? It's a... It's a uh, analogy? No? no. Fuck. We're going to cut this out. Anyways. Anachronistic. Anyways. Um, women in STEM... Shouts out to them. Yeah, Shouts out to their family. What's like the most important job that a woman in STEM can have? Probably like uh, physics. <laughs> do you think chicks female like, physicists? Do you think there's a bunch of girls like in a fucking office right now with a whiteboard and they're like, "How do we divide that by that?" And they look at each other and they're like, "How do they divide uh, what?" And if there's like a bunch of chicks at the NASA headquarters and they're all like locked in a room with a thing that says "No boys allowed" on the door. And they have a whiteboard, and it's like the square root of twelve. They're playing cards against humanity. <laughs> yeah, they're they're playing cards against humanity. You ever met a girl who plays Dungeons and Dragons? No, and I don't plan on it. I, try, I would I would like to stay away from a girl that that plays any kind of that bullshit. To be fair, I met if, some. If you meet a girl that plays Dungeons and Dragons, you, my friend, have met a man. No, you they're met, girls. You've met a dude. I met some girls in college that did that. Were they fat and ugly? You know, <clears throat> they were. Yes, it was one or the other. They one or the other. Either or both. fat or either ugly or yeah. both. And or no hate to the females. We're I've just never complaining played D, D before. I did it like once. I have no. I don't have the patience for that. I don't think I would play it. To be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of it. I have. I have no patience. I have no time for dragons and the. It's uh. It's pretty involved. Is it really? Yeah, one time I tried to play. My uncle fucking is really into fucking tabletop games and shit. He's into a bunch of different stuff. Shouts out to Uncle Mike. But he had this one game called um, Arkham Asylum. Oh, like Batman? No, it's uh, HP Lovecraft universe. I think hmm. it's called Arkham Asylum. No. 
It's Batman. Arkham. No, is that no? That's a Batman game. Yep, that's what I'm thinking of. No, but this is an HP Lovecraft ga- tabletop game that's like <laughs> Arkham Arkham Horror. I don't know, something like that. I'm really involved familiar. board game, and uh, I couldn't play it. It's too too much shit going on. What but, kind of what kind of board games can you play? Mousetrap. <laughs> never played it. You never played Mousetrap? Oh, Mousetrap's class. That's not even a board game. It's more of like a. Is that where your uncle puts a mouse trap un- <laughs> under your finger and tells you? <laughs> no, you? no. Mouse trap's classic. Um, that's more of like a Rude Goldberg kind of game. But um, have you? Ever I like uh, I like Monopoly. I like uh, Clue. Oh, Clue was fly. You ever play Risk? No, I've never. Played Risk, Risk is a classic game. Risk is like uh, about man. Isn't that like some? It's like conquering each other's some countries. Some four shit. Have you ever played Europa Universi Four? No, I've tried it. It's not not really my speed. It's a little complicated, but it's also a game about conquering nations. Fair enough. Risk is a board game, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you conquer. You like uh, fight, like to control the whole globe. You ever played chess? Yes. You good? Am I am I good at it? Uh, not really. No. Okay. Then. Cut that out, Shoddy. Um, I don't really play too many board games nowadays, but if I were to get back into one board game, I think it would have to be Clue. Clue, I, I Clue was awesome. Clue. Clue. You know what game I don't I don't stand for? What? Monopoly. Really? Why? Very boring. Game, yeah. game about luck. It's a game of yeah. luck. Yeah. And capitalism. <clears throat> yeah, it's a game about fucking capitalism. It's some bullshit. You know yeah. what's another really lame game? Battleship. Shit's boring. Yeah. Battleship's boring. There's a lot of... Honestly, there's a lot of really boring board games out there. Board games. Yeah, board. That's Isn't what they call it. It's so funny. I'll never play a board game now that I have a Steam Deck. I got my yeah. Steam Deck back, everybody. Yeah. I think this is the first episode where you get it back. Guys, guess what? I have my Steam Deck back. I went through and I mass accepted all of you who I shouted out my Steam profile in, in an episode a while back. And uh, you guys added me. Some guy gifted me $5. $5 That's gift nice. cards. But I don't know how to accept it. <coughs> so it's just been sitting there in my pending Let it stack gifts. up. Yeah, I'm just going to let it stack up. That's nice that I appreciate it. Yeah. But Thankfully, we're not buying any Steam games because we are I literally don't emulating. I, I've, taken up, I've taken up like 400 gigs of space just in fucking ROMs. Really? Yes, bro. Did you mass download them? Uh, or yeah. Just, or do you just keep individually downloading I them? I just keep individually downloading them. Look at you. I've, I have like 20 GameCube games, 20 PS2 games. I figured out how to get the Xbox 360. You got that working? Yeah, I have an Xbox 360 emulator. I haven't even done that yet. It's fucking awesome. It's so sick. I have I have the Skate Two. I have Skate Two, Skate Three. I have Arkham Asylum. I have Gears of War. I have. Uh, so you have to get the 360 BIOS. Yeah, I have Dead Space Two on 360. And it, does it does it run well? Yes, it works. It oh totally works. God. I, I could hook you up. You're a god. Nah, bro. It's fucking sick. I, I didn't even need 360 BIOS. You don't even need it. You just... there, there There's already an emulator built into Emu Deck. What's, it, what's the 360 one called? I don't know what the 360... It's called like XE... XE I don't know. I'll show you after Zemu? the pod. Zemu, I think is what it is. Yeah. But it's fly and it works really well. It's really what cool. What would I play on 360... Bro, I, I caught Dead Space. I think Dead Space. It's funny because you can get you can play those games on you can buy them on Steam. I think. Yeah, but why would I when I can just emulate yeah, them? Emulate the Xbox. Damn. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, bro. Yeah. I got it. I got it hooked up nice. The Steam Deck. Good was for great. you, man. I'm if proud you guys of you. are watching this and you want a good console, you need to just buy a Steam Deck. Okay. If you want to emulate, get a Steam. Deck. If you want to emulate casually, like. In your living room, if you have a nice living room set up, um, and you want to like just like play with a controller, emulate shit with a good front end, get a Steam Deck, get a get a Steam Deck, and then you download Emu Deck, um, and 
Just do it. Ben's the spokesperson I'm telling for you, now. I'm telling you, I was... I was Next eight, person to get is Jet, maybe. I used to call Chris a very rude slur for have for emulating. Yeah. That I won't repeat. But now I I do understand yeah. what what I was messing out on. Yeah. And Chris took it with took it with uh, stride. He said, he said, you don't know what you're missing out on. And he was right. Appreciate, <coughs> appreciate the honesty, Ben. Yes, but I did call you trans for a very long <laughs> yeah, time. You, got, you were like... Only trans people emulate. I was like, okay, yeah, C- call me trans then. Yeah, and you took, and then, you know what? You and I'm, I'm now I'm trans. So now I'm trans. Now we're trans. I would never, bro. That would hurt. To what? Get your dick cut up, turned into a vagina. Um, it probably hurts. It's probably, well, you're under anesthetic. Yeah, but I mean, you think the after pain. Yeah, the after pain of like not having a dick probably sucks. And also, how would they? Do, how would they even turn? It's like have you ever it's, heard of ghost pain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phantom pain. You would have phantom dick pain. I feel like probably it's very. It that's not a subject I really want to talk about. Okay. The actual surgical process. Okay, of, well I'm just saying. Yeah, it's uh, it it's hurt. probably very painful. It's and, pretty fucked um, up and gross. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. cut that out. Nah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> whatever. Nah, you can just leave that in, Shotty. Uh, whatever. Um, I would never do that shit, though. I would never do that. You look like a trucker. Yeah, you brother. Know, you're about to go drive an 18 wheeler. Yeah, I look like I'm about to fall on the ground. The worst thing that would happen to you is if you were driving an 18 wheeler and your brakes gave out. That's horrible. <laughs> you would be freaking out, bro. I no know you, shit. You especially though. Why? <laughs> because you just be like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Why me especially? <laughs> because you have a trucker hat on and you'd be like calling on the radio. You'd be yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be like, oh my brakes get me. <laughs> I've never driven a truck. <laughs> I just wore this trucker hat and I got the job. <laughs> it's your first day. Yeah, yeah. The brakes give out. What if you just spawned into a truck right now with the brakes out? I'd be like, how'd I get here? <laughs> <laughs> You're always like, spawn this, spawn that. What would you do? I'd be like, how did I get here? Okay, but after that, what would you do? After you were shocked about getting I would have there? to find... The, find um, <laughs> The runaway ramp. Yeah, the runaway ramp. Exactly. I'm probably yeah, but I'm you know one of my in rural v- Okay, but the Vermont. runaway ramp has fucking spikes at the bottom. Of it. So I'm in Ben's twisted video game, essentially, because there's no. <laughs> so I'm just in it. Ben's fun play world. There's a pit full of hypodermic needles. <laughs> Yo, yeah, it's a saw movie. That's fucked. Then I probably just like I would not go down. I would just keep driving down to this in this runaway ramp. There's a the, cliff that drops <laughs> off. I would go off the cliff. <laughs> if I crash into a bunch of hypodermic needles, I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get. The needles aren't gonna poke me unless I fly through the windshield. <laughs> and so I fly through the windshield into yeah. hypodermic needles. Or and then I'm like this. Ah! <laughs> yeah. That's fucked. Dude. <laughs> Fuck Saw and all that shit. Yeah, Saw's, dude, Saw sucks. I hate Saw. It's bad for your fucking soul. Yeah, Saw is stupid, bro. Some dude was jerking off right in that shit, being like, yeah, blood. He's like, yeah, I'm not yeah, fucking. Blood and pain. Yeah, it's, it's for, good. It's for little art It's probably a virgin. Probably a guy who was a virgin. The guy who was a virgin definitely wrote Saw. And then like, I imagine bleed. if we take my original high school crush and I rip her head off in two different she areas. It. I'm gonna break her jaw upside down. Yeah, because whatever. she denied me at the dance. Yeah, saw. So, I mean, maybe, maybe some, maybe there's some normal people out there that like saw, but nah, seriously, I'm not, doubt a, it. I'm not a fan of saw. I don't really trust anybody who watches horror movies to be. Hey, man, I have this new movie. It's really exciting. It's about torture. Mm-hmm, yeah, want to watch it? Hey, bro, can I have the remote? I have a really good movie that you're gonna like. It's about um, torture. There's blood and guts. It's about it's about how this girl almost dies every ten minutes. It's called Final Destination. Yeah, it's gonna make you hate everything. Escalators. Yeah, it's about escalators. Hey, bro, I have a really good movie about a guy who um 
Uh, it's about a little girl named Linda Blair who like, yeah. gets possessed by the devil. I have this. I just have this video of this actual real life plane crash. You want to watch it? Yeah. It's pre- everybody's really scared and screams. Have you ever heard of a website called s- Bit Shoot, bro? Yeah. Do you want to watch this guy get beheaded? Yeah. Hey, bro. Can pull up. Bit- Does this TV have internet? Pull up Bit Shoot real quick. Yeah. Do you want to see a child die? Have you ever heard of Project <laughs> Bluebeam, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this video of this chill, ch- kid dying in the Middle East, dude, you get your out. Yeah. You're gonna see what's happening in the Middle East, bro. Yeah. Come on, look. Yeah, bro, do you wanna see, like. Yeah, bro, I'm actually really well read up on Q. I can show you, like, all of his, <laughs> like. I, Shit. Can, I have, like, a really good compilation playlist. Do you wanna get pizza? Yo, do you fuck with Domino's, bro? Yeah, we Dom- <laughs> Let's order some Domino's. I'll pull up some gore. <laughs> yeah, Just, yeah, yeah. Chill. We'll chill. Bro, I actually have the craziest video of a chick's leg snapping at the gym. But the, but the crazy part is they snap upside down. Yeah. Do She's in meat? a lot do of pain. You, do you want meat on that pizza, bro? What kind of meat do you fuck with? Mm, I don't know. Keep a little fucking guts on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get the pe- the blood I pizza. wish I could eat a human. <clears throat> yeah, bro. Uh, check out this artist. Her name's uh, Marina Abramovic. And she actually is uh, really crazy. Do you like blood? Do you like blood, bro? Yo, I'll cheers bro, to that. Yo, bro, did you ever cut yourself? Cheers, As a kid. Cheers, Are you bro. a cutter? Yo, bro, cheers. Shouts out to Long Drink. Let's change the subject because this yeah, the, we're, we're being very sarcastic. The, long, the, word, the word. Finnish Long Drink, legend of 1952. Is this an actual Finnish type of thing? This like has been Finland? brewed for over 50 years. That's impressive. Mm. Not this particular can, but in general, they mean that. My can has. Yours is yeah. sugar free. Well, you know when they... You know when they say in McDonald's on the sign it says billions served? Oh, yes. Billions, like of, this. billions like, of humans. That's pretty crazy. The guy said, who made McDonald's fucking made a bag. I said that the other pod, too. Yeah, I know. But imagine if McDonald's... I mean, McDonald's is not... I don't think they would... They would imagine them, McDonald's fucking re- retained their original menu items and not re- condensed it to, like, seven items. What do you mean their original items? Before COVID, this is the case with a lot of restaurants in general, but before COVID, there were a lot more, like, menu items. McDonald's had snack wraps. They had salads. They did have There's snack wraps, yes. McDonald's does not ha- carry salads anymore. Yeah. They had snack wraps. They had other random... They had chicken selects, the little chicken tenders. Yes, they did. They had those, They like- had all sorts of different things that they, they dabbled with. But now, after COVID, they're, like, st- everything's streamlined, you know? Like, literally, like... The new model is to be like, now we have a bacon McDouble. Yeah, no, like, that's what? Of course, it's just bacon. You just add to a fucking sandwich. Mm-hmm. But like, they, but now it's like, no, nah, it's retarded. After COVID, that um, is true. They did take away all, a lot of they the good streamlined stuff. it. All. They, they simplified the menu. It's very simple. And there's no dollar. And then and then the price. Yeah, that blows. But um, I am personally proud of them. I think they put out the double Big Mac, and for that they should be awarded some kind of prize. Well, now. Now that I think of it, you should try to make your own custom bent sandwich. I already can already do that. I'm already really good at that. I make the best burgers. No, I'm saying at McDonald's. I'm saying make your make oh, your, like customize my customize own your sandwich. sandwich to be like, all right, I want a quarter pounder with Big Mac sauce and like you could you could do things you didn't even know you could do. Really? Yeah. I want a quarter pounder, but I want each of the patties cut in half, so that leaves us with a total of four patties. I don't know if they could. <laughs> I, want I don't them know about sli- cutting. I'll just tell them to slice them horizontally. I'll say they'll cook them, slice them horizontally. Like this way? Yes, like down the middle. But then that would just. I'd say I Like want, down the middle, do so they make two half moons? Yes. No. No, 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 not a half moon, like a, like a moon down the center. So that would just make like a regular. That would just make like a one small type patty. To re- correct. So it would be no, four no, by no, four. No, no, no. You know what I do a lot. We're on fat ass talk, but what I do is, I'll get just a cheeseburger <laughs> mm-hmm. with no ketchup, mustard, but add mac sauce. So it's like a mini mac. Oh, that's interesting. Those are fire. I've never done that. If you've ever done a mini mac, please comment below. Nobody, but, nobody is as genius as you, and now I have to get a mini mac. We'll get a mini Mac. That sounds cool. I don't After know the pod, do you want to go hit that McDonald's? I don't know if we should get McDonald's. Well, I'm kind of well, making. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. What if I just told you that I'm making an executive decision? Maybe, maybe, that maybe. That we're getting maybe. ten mini Macs. Maybe. What if we run ten mini Mac challenge tonight? You ever, see, you ever see Epic Mealtime and they'll go buy Big Mac sauce, but they'll get in the cup? No. Like a McDonald's cup, like a drinking yeah, cup. Yeah, the, like they'll get. They're like, yo, can we just get one of the like. 
12 ounce cups with just mac sauce and they'll just buy like they'll just squirt mac sauce into the thing this big it's probably expensive right probably that mac sauce is not cheap it's good give me it at home though yeah, well, it's just ketchup, man. Okay, we got to move on, bro. Fuck yeah, this. Yeah, anyway, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that, guys. We we're hungry. To, we were, we're done talking about McDonald's, but I am very hungry. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, I deadlifted 300 pounds today. This guy deadlifted 300 pounds today. How about that, everybody? Granted, I did use a trap bar, so make of that what you will. That's good. But that people, is still... People need to know that. That is still a you. lot of weight, and I weigh 140 pounds. Okay, so put that in your fucking pipe and smoke it. Yeah, good for you. <clears throat> it's good. So I'm lifting 300 pounds. Pretty soon here, I'm going to be like Ronnie Coleman. Yep. I'm going to start taking steroids. Yep. I'm going to start taking testosterone shots. Yep. And I'm going to eat 4,000 calories a day. I'm going to eat 4,000 calories a day like Rich Piana. And I'm trying to get Ben on the calorie kick. I'm like... We're looking at DoorDash. Yeah, we'd be on got, DoorDash I got you looking at fucking calories. Double fucking juice juice burger. Fucking seventeen hundred calories. It's so chilies. good though, and you know, it's good because you you need calories. If, if you y'all have calorie up. suggestions for me, yeah. If you have suggestions, it's not like bullshit. Because if you're gonna just tell me to go buy like McDonald's, don't bother. Just if you have Ben's lifting now, he needs more calories. If you tell he me to go to the store, food. Tell me to go to the store, tell me what to buy, but don't tell me to buy fucking white chicken and rice, whatever you do. No, that's that's for like cut that's if you want to be lean. I mean, that's good to eat, but um I don't know I don't know what I, I don't know what uh would be good for like high uh, calorie dense food that's not like complete crap. Probably a lot of peanut butter and like Ew, I fucking hate peanut butter. Oh yeah, you don't like peanut butter. I actually hate peanut butter to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah. Also, Ben's a picky eater, so this is gonna be d- tough. Yeah. So, when but you you're expanding d- your horizons. I've been slightly here and there. Yes. Because you're you're like a picky eater in some senses, but then we'll have like you'll eat like squid tentacles. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Some some shit I'll just like I'll just say fuck yeah. it. Yeah. Have you ever had raw raw um, mollusks like clams? Mm, I've not. No. I would you try it though. Don't. You try it. I right. try it. I probably wouldn't like it though. Oysters are pretty good. You know what you guys have out here that we don't have in California? I didn't even know that shit existed what? until I came out here. Lobster rolls. Goaded. Lobster rolls go fucking Lobster's crazy. Goated. Yeah, lobster's bomb, bro. Bro. Lobster, or maybe it's crab I'm thinking of. The one that you dip in butter. You, you, dip, you dip both of them in butter. I think crab is better in butter. Crab's great. Crab, both great. crab is fucking delicious. We should go somewhere. I went to an Asian market the first time the other week. Mm-hmm. Smelled like China. A yeah, lot it's of chi- a lot of Chinese. Good people. fortune. That's where I went. Yeah, you gotta wear a mask in there. And I was uh, traumatized. What'd you, get? what'd you get though? I didn't get shit. I was with my girl. She wanted to go, and I've get, never what'd been. What'd you get? What'd you get? Like ramen and stuff. She got like a bunch of fucking Jap food that I don't like. And yeah. so we're walking through there. I had my sunglasses on because. Obviously, I can't. Incognito. I can't let myself be blinded by the Chinese propaganda. <laughs> they had a whole entire section of erasers. It was like different kind of erasers. That's nice. You know, they were like it was just fucking for um, Japanese children, which I don't know why they would be selling that in America. Um, so these erasers <laughs> were shaped like food, and they were shaped like Pokemon. That's cute. Uh huh. Okay. So, anyways, <laughs> moving on. We move on to the food section. <laughs> What's wrong with that eraser portion? Uh, there's too much free time on their hands. Okay. C- continue. You go to the China portion. Some, somebody spends. There's. Okay. So let's not get food. dwell on the erasers. I go to the food section. Now the food section. Which I have you ever seen the movie They Live? <clears throat> yes. You have? Are you talking about the one where the dude puts on the sunglasses? The sunglasses yeah. and he sees everyone as robots? Uh, yeah, I, I saw that, yeah. Uh, that's That was me. Robots or aren't they like they're de- blue they're demons. They're yeah, devils. Yeah. And so I had my sunglasses on. I was looking at all these Chinese people and I felt like I was the protagonist and they live. Oh. And I was just waiting for one of them to pick up their watch and uh, yeah, get me, get me arrested. And... Um, they had lobsters. Live. This is the point I'm getting yeah, to. They yeah, had yeah. they had like live seafood in a tank. That did your fir- girl buy it? No. But I, the lady in front of us in line, did, and she got mad fucking crab for cheap. She yeah, like, man. She got like two crabs for forty bucks. It was pretty awesome. We gotta go to. Um, we can cook them at home, obviously, but we gotta go to a crab place. I don't think they kill them for you. No, you. What's bring the it. most humane way to kill a crab? You. 
cut it in half while it's alive. <laughs> Is that true? Um, you don't boil it alive, do you? I think that's. I the, mean, I think, I think the, the humane way for lobster and crab. Is you, kill, is, is you kill it instantly with, like, a knife. Right. So they don't, like, feel the right. pain of, like, being boiled alive. Yeah. So um, that's, I believe. But my parents back in the day, if they got lobster or anything, they just throw that sucker in the pot alive. Just throw it right in the pot? And uh, do you think, did you, shit's would, good as hell. Would you feel any remorse if you did that? Yeah, I've done it before. But whatever. I mean, Me and Joey cooked lobster really, once. I'm not, I wouldn't be guilty if I we're did like it. playing with it on the floor. I I don't know if I could because if I like had to set it down and then I like I set it down and then I go to raise the knife and then it like starts scurrying away. Oh, like I'm not gonna chase that little fucker down. No, no. I, I don't think they they're like half dead by the time you like bring them home because they've been just chilling in a bag. Mm. It's pretty f- morbid to think about, but they are just bugs. Yeah, we should get bugs. seafood. We'll just get seafood soon. Yeah, we should, bro. We should go to Good Fortune and get live seafood and cook it. Don't okay. Be a, don't be a pussy. All right. And we can melt butter and everything. Mm, artichokes. Do, do a mukbang. Bro, hot artichokes. You like artichokes? With butter, yes. Are you talking about art, like where you peel it and you dip it? Mm-hmm. You like that? Oh, yeah. Who introduced you to that? My mother. Mm. Delicious. My mother and my aunt did on my Italian side. And uh, that's just good. Oh. And did you, did they would they make a stuffing to put on the inside of the artichoke? Nah, maybe that's a what an Italian thing. Yeah. What time are we up? Um, let me get about ten minutes. Cool. Anyways, um, that's cool though. I want to. I do want to start cooking more seafood. That'd be cool. I want to start cooking at home more. Yeah. Eating out is expensive. Eating out is very expensive. It's get, it's gotten significantly more expensive. I love cooking expensive. at home. I love cooking. I love cooking at home. It's cooking best. at home is the move, bro. It's How late best. is Dave's open? That's closed. Cool. Uh, but cooking at home is the best. Yeah. And people say people claim that it's it's you save more time by eating out, even if it's more expensive. The time you spend. Cooking something at home and picking out the ingredients, you could be making money. I've heard that argument, which may or may not be true, but I just enjoy the. Act Let's of just cooking. be real. Who the fuck is making money when they're like ordering DoorDash? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. nobody. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I really, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, seafood. I've, I haven't cooked. I don't think I've cooked a lobster or crab in many years, um, but. I'll have the Traeger pretty soon. <clears throat> I've We're never cooked. I've never cooked seafood, but I'd be willing to give it a shot. And yeah. it's almost summer, so you know what that means. It's yeah. barbecue time. Tra- oh, dangerous! <clears throat> I'm ready to get some burgers, bro. Yeah, yeah, burger, bur- barbecue burgers. Um. Anyways, we're gonna move over to the Patreon. Okay. Um. I have to blow my nose. I'm and I have up. to. I have to pee. Yeah. All right. You guys take care. Goodbye. We'll see you on the Patreon. Bye bye.